is the second part of the comparison video between the 49G and the TR-89 Titanium. Like I said in that video, in the previous video, the direct competition for the 49G was uh, the original TR-89, but unfortunately I don't have any 89 with me, so I got the next best thing, the 89 Titanium. I cut the previous video short because I was supposed to go to the mosque, and unfortunately I missed the mosque. Which is which is which is really unfortunate. Which really sucks. May, makes me sad as well because that doesn't hap, happen often to me. And about uh, life must goes on. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> so I already went ahead and show you uh, the mods, what you get, the options, features you get on both. And uh, we are going to do some. Uh, uh, so we are we are going to do some mod problems now. So the. HP has uh, something called the equation router as you can see here on the 49 it is uh, this button right here if you press it it will take you to this interface where you can uh, write your equations and uh, evaluate them and uh, as you can see the soft menu shows you the different options and if you want to check and see whether there is some some more then you can just press this next key and it will take you to the next page okay if you press next again it will take you to the previous one there's redundancy because if you press uh, 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 the left shift key and previous and it will take you uh, to the next one as well so it's really redundant which is good in my, I guess and uh, the on the uh, on the 89 everything is done here so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put the, uh, the equation I'm gonna solve it's just gonna be simple quadratic equation so I'm gonna put out 2x square minus 2x minus 1 so if you want to learn how to uh, use the equation writer, I already made a video about that. It was uh, about the uh, 49G+, plus, so you can go ahead and take a look at it. It covers a lot about RPN and how to put the uh, expressions onto the calculator. Okay, so I'm going to select the whole thing and put on the, and put on the stack. So that's what you do with the HP. As you can see, it is slow. It says bad argument. I don't know why he said that. This calculator is really weird. I guess it did that because I was in the mod was even supposed to take me to the equation rather okay okay so let me do that again so I'm gonna go to the equation rather write my equation so this is the reason why I always copy my expression right after I uh, put them on the calculator because I can easily uh, I could have easily paste this here if I had copied it I don't really like doing ifs, ifs, what ifs, what ifs, what ifs. I don't do ifs. Okay. So I'm going to put on the stack. Okay. Now no bad argument error. Okay. So the same thing is going to be here. So what makes the RPN really handy? I don't got to do any, I don't, I don't got to do any parentheses. So you don't really deal with parentheses a lot with the RPN. Okay. So on the TI, we're going to do this. Solve X square minus 2X minus one you gotta set it to uh equal to zero it's hard to do this behind the camera solving for x close the parentheses okay so we have both equations here on the stack as you can see once again the ti is really the ti really leaves to be desired you see the font is so small you know it can be a, a serious issue for all the people you know i've never i've never met uh uh someone who's uh into calculator that tells me that their favorite calculator is uh, the ti-89 titanium it is a great calculator but i've never met anybody that prefers the ti more than uh, uh the hp it's just uh, i'm pretty sure there are a lot of people out there but uh i just haven't met one yet you know like i said uh in the previous video the ti is great i favor the ti when it comes to uh, simplifying expressions because hp does not even come close obviously hp tried to fix that with the prime but still when I am dealing with uh, simplifying expressions, I just would rather have a, a TI all day. Okay, so 2x squared minus 2x minus 1. This is a polynomial of the second degree. Uh, I accidentally put uh, y here instead of x. That's an easy fix. Okay, so if you press solve here on the HP, then uh, you got two solve options. Again, I covered this in my previous video, what the second solve means. Okay, so it's gonna be the first solve here. The first solve is gonna solve for the independent variable. The default independent variable here is x. So I'm gonna press enter at the same time. So if I press solve one, okay, let me check something with the HP because the HP is really finicky. 
it's a really okay approximate is off cancel okay one two three reference error bad argument 2x squared minus 2x minus 1 hmm I'm glad this happened uh, live, but uh, I also mentioned in one of my videos that it's really hard for me to recommend HP to anyone because the software is just, uh, it's just, it's just too, uh, it's just too complex. You know, it's not, it was not meant. This calculator was never meant with uh, the students in in mind. I don't think it was, even though they are going to say otherwise. It's really, it's really so, it's it's too finicky. You see, I don't even know what this means bad argument type what is that even supposed to mean it's a simple quadratic equation why can't can it solve it i don't know i don't know maybe it could be i got a defective calculator but the first time it told me was a bad argument and now it's giving me some answer so that is interesting and uh, i don't even have the same answer here so if i press undo then i make sure we got the same equation okay it's my fault. I don't have the same equation, so now we gotta fix that again. Okay, two x squared minus x minus one. Okay, so now let's try to hit enter at the same time. One, two, three. So the TI got it first. As you can see, uh, the simplification. Hmm. Okay, so again, this is probably going to be some long ass video. Okay, let me take my time, pause the video, and just put the expression on the stack because it's a pain using this behind the camera. It's almost impossible the way I have my phone set up. Okay, so you can probably you can already tell the TI is going to be faster because it has a faster processor, I believe, you know, and uh, it is a. Uh, it is uh, uh, the highest uh, clock frequency between the two. This one is clocked at 16 megahertz, and this is just 4 megahertz. So, even though that does not uh, mean everything, it certainly means it certain, certainly means something. So I'm gonna go ahead and press enter at the same time. Solve, enter. And the TI already has, and the HP has had it like a, a second after. And I think what was the problem? The reference error problem was probably I think I might have hit this instead of uh, dissolve let's see yeah so that's what happened so I probably I hit this by mistake because I was looking through the camera instead of uh, the phone or in, instead of looking directly at the calculator so yeah so there is that so that really is not gonna make me take back what I said about HP software being complex it, it really is it really is okay so there is that so now let's go back to the equation right here and I'm gonna pause the video and put another expression Okay, so next we are going to integrate x squared from uh, 2 to 4. This is nothing complicated. You know, even by hand you can do this uh, fairly quickly. But let's see how long it's going to take this calculator to pull it off. So on the uh, HP, I'm gonna, I gotta make sure it's an approximate because nah, I don't even need to do that. I'm just gonna do eval. So eval is gonna give me the right answer. It should give me the right answer. And by the way, both of these calculators are in standard mode, so none of them are engineering and the decimal places is everything is left on default. So one, two, three. The 89 had it literally immediately. And uh, okay, so I believe I have my step by step on. That's why it's doing this. Huh, what did I miss? Aren't we, uh, wasn't this supposed to be an integration of x squared from two to four? <laughs> okay, let me pause this once again. All right, my bad, my bad. So this is the kind of bullshit I'm talking about when it comes to the HP. <laughs> I mean, it got me a little off guard. Obviously, this is the same answer because if you, this is pretty much, uh, I don't know why he did that. This is 64 minus 8, 64 over 3 minus 8 over 3, which is the same thing as uh, 68, 72 over 3. Oh, well, not really. But <laughs> you get a drift though. If you uh, 
uh, tell the, ask the calculator to give me an approximate, it should give you an 18.6 as well. So let's just put that to the test. So I'm going to put the approximate, hit this, and enter. As you can see, it's the same thing. So, <laughs> so yeah, that is that. The HP can be really frustrating. You know, for someone who is not, uh, who doesn't do math often, this can put you, this can throw you off guard. You probably may think, oh, I probably did something wrong. Why is it showing me fractions and stuff like that? Why is you showing me this weird looking fraction? But as there is that, either way, the uh, HP, the TI got it first, regardless of the calculator being uh, in step-by-step uh, -step mode. Okay, let me uncheck this one. Okay, okay, and uh, undo this. I can't undo it again, but yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm really sick of this video. I'm, I'm a little mad that I missed the mask and all that stuff. Plus, <laughs> you know, this calculator can be really frustrating. So just know that the 89 is going to be faster. It's going to be faster when it comes to, you know, solving these uh, integrals. It's going to be faster than the 49G. It kind of makes sense. It is, it is five years, uh, it is five years newer, newer than uh, the 49G after all. So that is, that, that, that is that. And uh, before I leave, I gotta do some graphing. So when you are in RPM mode, you have to keep holding this and press F1. In algebraic mode, you just have to hit it and hit this one. Okay, so I'm gonna add my equation. It's just gonna be, uh, okay, why is this saying X, Y, Z? It's probably the graph type is probably a 3D. That's what the Z is for. Okay, we're just gonna do a simple polynomial of the second. One, let's just switch things up. Let's do a square root of a, Let's do a, a radical, okay? And here we are gonna do square root of x as well. Okay, I just gotta make sure here my uh, graph tap is. Uh, function instead of uh, 3d as you can see uh, let's see the UI on the HP 49 even though I said it is uh, faster than the 89 titanium it can sometimes be slow but overall I like the UI on the HP better when it comes to the smoothness the TI is just you know okay it's in conic so I gotta change this to function I don't even know why it was in conic I don't remember using it like that okay so now I can just uh, hit draw on both simultaneously. One, two, three. As you can see, the HP is much, much slower. As you can see, I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that there was already a three in here. It probably has something to do with it, but uh, let me see. Okay, so let me cancel this. And uh, on the HP, I gotta make sure to erase it. I'm gonna erase this, go back to the graph. Okay, X, erase, erase everything. And now I'm gonna graph it again. F4, one, two, three. Yep, the HP is just going to be faster. I mean, the, the 89 is just going to be faster by by a lot, by two to three times faster when it comes to graphing these. And let's do some more functions. So let's go back here and let's go back here. Cancel this one. Yeah. So the 89 is an overall faster computer, if you will. Okay, so I'm gonna erase this. I'm just gonna replace this with. Uh, I'm just gonna replace it with uh, x cube. Uh, x cube. This one x cube as well. Make sure I erase it. One. Two, three.
Yeah, the 89 is always going to be faster when it comes to graphing. But the 3D graphing on this one is actually faster than the uh, 89, which is very interesting. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna go to mod here, change from function to 3D. Press enter. Okay, I don't know why I did that by itself. That's because I was in graph before. Can I interrupt this? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go back here and uh, uncheck it. Make sure it is uncheck. Why is it doing that? There shouldn't be anything on there. Hmm. Okay. There you go. So I'm gonna check it again. Now here I'm gonna go to 2D. What is it? 2D, 3D. See, this thing is uh, HP is HP. You gotta cancel first. Then hold this, press F4 to take it. It's gonna take you to the graph type and change this to fast 3D. Fast 3D is just marketing, but it is fast. So that is that. So I'm gonna graph both of them. One, two, three. I forgot to erase the graph, but eh. As you can see, this is really interesting. The HP does the 3D graph much nicer, much faster than the 89. Wait, what was that? I thought I had S cube. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I keep making mistakes. But that's even slower, actually. And the HP already has it. And if you see the HP is uh, nicer looking than the TI in my opinion and anybody would agree with me so that is that okay that's it part 2